Russian military vessels have been destroyed in Black Sea. Russian naval forces in the Black Sea face big trouble as Ukraine looks to press its asymmetric offensive against Moscow's military shipping and infrastructure in the region, according to President Volodymyr Zelensky's top advisor. Newsweek informs that speaking at the United States Institute of Peace in Washington, Andriy Yermak, the head of the presidential office in Kyiv, told attendees Ukraine is still notching victories despite the underwhelming results of its stalled counter-offensive operation in the south of the country, which has been underway since early June. We already liberated 50% of the territory that was occupied since the full-scale invasion began on February the 24th, 2022, Yermak said. We are practically, today, making big trouble for the Russian fleets in the Black Sea. Ukraine's repeated successes in the Black Sea over the past year are in stark contrast to its struggles on land. Ukraine has consistently used its naval drones, cruise missiles, provided by Western partners and unmanned aerial vehicles to strike key Russian naval assets. At least 19 Russian military vessels have been attacked since February 2022, according to the Oryx open source intelligence website, of which 12 have been destroyed. Among them are the former Black Sea Fleet flagship Moskva, the Rostov-on-Don attack submarine, and the Askold corvette. Ukrainian attacks have also destroyed key dry dock facilities in the Crimean port of Sevastopol and partially demolished the Black Sea Fleet headquarters building in the city which has for decades been the nucleus of Moscow's influence in the area. Some of Russia's most advanced vessels have now reportedly abandoned Sevastopol for safer waters.